Morning, Jeff Roper here in the First Alert Viper Weather Center. Here's live Viper radar. You can see where the snow showers are and that little adjoining front uh, zipping through here. Snow showers from Boise waking, making that wintry mix changeover and then light snow showers across Idaho Falls. Winter weather advisories for the eastern highlands and into the southeastern highlands uh, through early morning for the next few minutes and then into mid morning for western Wyoming. So around here you can expect some wispy snows to start with. The kids will deal with some snow showers and maybe a peak of sunshine and it's going to be chilly right around 21 degrees. By the afternoon though it's still not going to hit uh, freezing. It'll be about 27 for this 16th day of December. Checking the road conditions. Most of us do have snow into eastern Idaho. It seems to be uh, yeah we had some drier conditions in the Blackfoot but I showed you that camera earlier where things are pretty wispy. Here is a live sweep of radar. Most everyone has Santa's beard in tow with some Kris Kringleness happening. 23 degrees in Idaho Falls and light snow feels like about 16. Everything that hits the road will freeze if it's given enough time, so some slushy conditions are possible. This is Idaho Falls 15 and 20, and winter weather advisories continue for Fremont County and on into Bonneville County and down into the Eastern Highlands till 7 a.m. Tomorrow morning, they're extending that for the Upper Highlands and until about 11 o'clock this morning for portions of our uh, counties in western Wyoming. There's the front that caused so much disruption in the atmosphere yesterday with the cold air meeting that record heat into the middle of the nation and tornadic spawning and thunder showers. Probably not as bad as it was the other day with those nocturnal tornadoes into portions of Kentucky. Here we are this morning with the leading edge of the front, dragging that moisture up from the south and banging that cold air into us. Things around here, we're equaling uh, four inches of snow. Radar indicated into Idaho Falls and Jackson. It's 23 degrees and a chilly beginning and the interstate there with some white stuff covering uh, Pocatello's 15 stretch at the Clark Street exit. The temperatures are in the 20s this morning in the teens in the mountain community and we've seen some gusty winds over 30 miles an hour into the lower Snake Plain, so it's going to blow that snow around. The wind chills are in the teens, if not the single digits for a lot of us, and the forecast reveals more of these lingering showers into early afternoon across the eastern highlands and southeastern highlands, and we get a break into tomorrow, and things are just going to freeze up. It's like that ice cream that uh, that Forrest makes and that I'll be showing you how Santa and I make that tomorrow morning when you tune in at 6 a.m. here on Local News 8. We're going to take you on a little bit behind the scenes tour of Santa's favorite treats. Uh, it will be wispy into the afternoon, 15 to 20 mile an hour wind gusts, so any snow will blow and you'll see some of that across the roadways and on your windshield as it does begin to freeze. It will be cold for today. We'll barely get toward freezing around here, upper 20s into the mountains and uh, lower 20s into the parks. And here's a live look at Tatonia. That's 33. And you get into Idaho Falls where things are wet this morning. Everything will freeze. We'll be below freezing into the weekend until we get to next week. But things will be dry after rounds of showers linger into early tomorrow. Pocatello 33 today. Still windy and chilly. And in Jackson, things are frozen. And 27, it'll be 16 tonight. We're going to see some single digit lows as well as we get back into the lower 20s for tomorrow. Blackfoot, it'll be below freezing today. You've got some wispy showers there on the webcam and 21 tonight. It will freeze up and things can be slick. We advise you to take care if you're driving a high profile vehicle with slick conditions and limited visibility into Rexburg around the roundabouts. Don't get caught. Slow your slow your roll and give everybody a little extra space. 31 in salmon today with limited shower chances. Our question of the day from Bell Medical. What's the worst white elephant gift you've ever received? What'd you get stuck with? 534 99 to 57 534 99 57 